Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Sam with us. Hell yeah. It's currently 2 a.m. in the morning. We're out looking for something to catch, eh? Yeah, hopefully squid. <laughs> the weather's been absolutely ridiculous the last couple of weeks, so we've been struggling for videos, but we're out after the cuttlefish and squid tonight. So we're gonna see what we can get, rack up some conga baits, eh, dude? Yeah, hopefully, mate, we need it. Yeah, so fingers crossed, guys, it's gonna be a late one. It's Smash Fishing. Rig we're using today, guys, a bit different, this one. It's because we're mainly targeting the cuttlefish, I want my uh, my lures above the seabed, so it's almost like a uh, drop shot, but two squid jigs. So what I've got at the bottom is a small clip swivel, small ball weight, about a foot to my first dropper loop. And that has a small jig on, and I've got another 10 inches to another small loop. What that does is, when you're casting out, your weight's on the bottom, and it suspends both the lures. So then you can bounce the seabed without getting snagged too much. And as the tide comes up, it's always a good way to do it like this. If you're willing to put three lures on and cast them out, if you know you're not going to lose too much gear, this is a very productive way for squid also. So the reason for putting the, uh, the clip at the bottom is you get a nice big squid jig. As the tide comes up, you've got more depth of water to drift the lures through. So then what you can do is put a nice big one on the bottom with your weight, and you'll have all three lures diving down at the same time. So we're hoping the squid come out tonight, but we're more so for the cuttlefish. So for now, I'm gonna keep that off and just let my weight bounce around on the bottom. Well, hopefully some big cuttlefish come up. Carrying very lightweight today. I've just got a small rock sack with a few lures in. Got our rods and we're literally just gonna walk around everywhere, around the breakwater, around the big walls and just see if we can pluck a few out and keep out of the rain. We're expecting the wind to pick up soon. We've had four sevens, eights, you name it. Hopefully we can redeem it. Sam's in, come on, don't lose it. It's the biggest squid ever. Is it a squid? No, it's a cuddle. Look at that for a cool little creature. Absolutely awesome these are. They can change color dramatically. I'm trying to avoid the wind as much as I can at the moment. Check that thing out. He's trying to squirt ink at me, but he's got no water inside him at the moment. I don't know if you can see that guys, the colour change of the cuttlefish is crazy. They can go from like literally a really dark colour to pale. But if I flip it over, there you go. Look at that, that's crazy. <laughs> so what we're going to do is put him out of his misery now. He's had enough. So all we do, quick chop. And that's it, dead, it's gone white. Let's go hopefully get some more. It's absolutely it's <laughs> chucking nice. it down. Oh, no. All we're doing for the cuttlefish, it's casting out not far from the actual wall. And we're letting it sink right to the bottom. And I'm doing a very slow retrieve back. Sorry, mate. You got another one? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> that one just popped off. Nice to know they're here. Come on, let's go get some more. And all I'm saying, to do very slow retrieve. My camera's getting absolutely soaked today. <laughs> the weather's been like this for, what, two weeks now, Sam? Yeah, it's not been nice. No, it's been horrendous. So we've just took it on the head now. We want something to catch. <laughs> Sam's in again. You see he's reeling in nice and slowly. You've got to be bloody careful with cuttlefish, if that's what it is. Come on Sam, what is it? What is it? Cuttlefish or squid? It's a cuddle, I think. What, flip or die? No, it's not. 
<laughs> it's a rock and a bit of seaweed. It's called a rock squid. Stay tuned. Going for three lures now. We're in a very deep water at the moment. So I've just chucked a bigger lure on the bottom. Hoping that'll entice a nice big cuttle or maybe a squid. That's hands down the smallest squid I've ever caught. <laughs> Absolutely tiny little thing that. I'm not going to keep him as bait. He's too small for me. I don't want nothing that size. Awesome to see though. That means the squid have shown up. So we're going to stay for five minutes, see how it goes. And then we're packing up because we're absolutely soaked. So next day, me and my lady are down the uh, breakwater again. It's absolutely bouncing down with, with rain, but we're still going to go for it. Jen's got the standard rig on, two squid jigs. I got three, the same rig as yesterday. So we're going to try it out and hopefully get something to eat. Girlfriend's got a huge cuttlefish on. Keep reeling it, babe. That's it. Go on, fight it. Come on, get it. Yeah, that'll reel. I'll pull the line in. You reel. Ready? Hopefully, it don't come off. This is a beast. Get ready, babe. We're gonna slick it. All right. Oh, look at the size of that one. <laughs> Check that out, guys. That's a huge cuttlefish. Well done, babe. I was just untangling her rod and she hooked into this mother. Hell yeah. Just getting the hooks out. With squid jigs, it's really easy. All you've got to do is reverse the hook and it just pops right out. Look at that compared to the size of my hand. It's got, look at the dots on it, though. It's amazing they're cuttlefish, they take up the colours that their surroundings on. You see them start to change. It's awesome creatures. Evil looking. I'm gonna do a catch and cook cuttlefish with this. Perfect size for it. What a beauty. How are you feeling babe? Good. Yeah? Oh, First ever cuttlefish. <laughs> they're heavy, eh? Yeah, very. They're surprising. Well, there's another way to kill these as well. You can put your fingers behind the membrane and you just tear it away from the back and that will kill this also. Just a little more humane than to leave it suffer. That's a good start to the night. Lovely sized cuttlefish like that. Big ones are like that, really good for eating. And all we're doing is just either pulling up slowly and reeling down or we just do a steady retrieve straight in I'm hoping for the best. Still raining. Bloody, we're absolutely soaked at the moment, but it's always fun to get out. This is always the problem with uh, cheap squid jigs. That happens. Jen just had a nice squid on. Pulsating like hell. You can always tell with squid. So I get a fresh one on. Hopefully get it back, eh, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, that was a big squid then. The rod was bending like hell. What we've done here is... We've got two big snap lights, the big glow lights, and we've just tied them to a bit of line and threw them in the water, just down about 10 yards from the wall. And that will hopefully bring the cuttlefish and squid towards us. The tide's on its way down at the moment. I think it's about half tied down. So we're not fishing the best times for them, but hopefully there should be a few round. Gonna reel my rod in now. We're gonna call it that. We've got a few pictures with the cuttlefish. We're holding it up by there because it's covered in ink. <laughs> you enjoy yourselves, babe? Yeah, it's been good. That's it. We'll get out when there's more squid and hopefully get some more. So I'll see you in the kitchen tomorrow, guys. Happy with that. Girlfriend's got her first ever cottle and it's a fatty. There's the cottle fish. Lovely size cottle, this one. You can see you've got the two big tentacles for catching the prey and bringing it in towards the beak. But you can see there, that's its beak. Don't want to get bitten by these things. You can see they've got two with big old suckers. And they grab onto anything, crabs as well. Now I'm going to clean this. I'm going to keep the head on for now. And what you're doing is you're going to try and get the skin off the meat. 
it can be a bit tricky sometimes to get behind the. Uh... Oh, there we go. Behind the actual fins there. And what you're doing is just pulling the skin off all the way around. Just keep going around. Once you get it, it's quite easy to start. So all the way around. There we go. And this way you can avoid the ink sack quite a lot as well. There's the things you uh, find out up on the beach getting washed up. And you see some of them like that. And that's it. That's all the skin off. That's the two wings. Give it a little bit of a wash off. And all I do, you can see where the meat starts. Round where the guts are. Since the ink sack's already gone on this one. All you're doing is just cutting round, all the way around the inks, the uh, gut sack there. Go the other side, do exactly the same. It's quite, it's quite soft the meat. You'd be quite surprised. Still a little bit of ink left in it. Pull the head out. There we go. So that's all of our meat ready. We've got the head here. All I'm going to do with that. It's because this is a killer conga bait. We're gonna eat these big tentacles and we're gonna keep the rest for bait because that's a whole conga bait in itself, that. Loads of guts. So uh, that's a lot more valuable to me as bait than, uh, than to eat. And all I'm doing, just rinsing it all off. <laughs> and what I like to do is these two ends here, is just take that off because it's a bit gristly. Try and avoid the ink. And I like to take these ends off as well. Just like that. And that's perfect to eat. What I like to do with this, this chunk especially, because because we're going to be frying this, I like to do a few chunks about an inch and a half wide. Just like that. And these are quite meaty as well. And what you do is to each one is just go partially through it. Just like so, and then back the other way. So that's how I like to prepare the body of it. You can see when it when it cooks up, what I do is you can make them a bit smaller if you like, and they will curl up into a ball, like so. It's a great way of eating it, but it won't be cooked for very long at all. As for the uh, tentacles, I just like to chop them up into sort of just little sections, and those will get fried up as well. These are really tender, these tentacles, it's surprising. And they're awesome bait. Let's get the last ones done. Surprising how much bait you get out of one cuttlefish like that if you keep the head. With the head, all you do is just cut the, uh, I thought I'd mention it, cut in front of the eyes, and then all of the tentacles there are good to eat. Give them a good scrub up. Look at the eye on that thing. Awesome looking. Back in the kitchen now, we've got Sam with us. A bit better lighting. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And what we've got is we've got some butter, some chopped garlic clove, and half an onion and all we're doing is putting a bit of olive oil in the pan just like so gonna get a good old dollop of butter mixed in nothing too complicated then we put our onions in and our garlic and we're just cooking that through and while that's just simmering away there, what we're doing with the, with the cuttlefish is we've got some plain flour in there, doing a bit of pepper, a bit of sea salt, we'll get a bit in there as well. Don't want that to burn. And all we're doing is mixing that up and getting our strips. And just giving them a light coat, and that's all. 
just like so, and that will just give them a little crisp. What I'm going to do now is get them all in the frying pan. Everything's sizzling down nicely. That's it, just get them all in there. And as these cook through, some of them will start curling up and stuff. They'll end up like little balls. Same goes for squid. Good old sweet chilli sauce. That's it, nearly cooked now. It's had about a minute, minute and a half. That's all you need to do. And we go straight onto the plate. You don't want to overcook cuttlefish. Because the same as squid, it will end up very, very chewy. Rubber, yeah. Check that out. You can see how they curl up. Looks delicious. Smells good, eh, dude? Smells delicious. And all we do, just to finish it off, a little bit of lemon juice dashed over the top and over me and over Sam. <laughs> Lovely job. I'm intrigued to show this. Yeah. Look at the big curly one. Looks absolutely delicious. It's been a while since I've tried cuttlefish. That's good. Mm. You get that Orma texture. It tastes just like Orma, I was mm. about to say that. That's so soft Not eh? too chewy at all though. No. Like you cook it a couple of minutes more and you'd be surprised how much it goes like rubber. I actually prefer this over squid. Meaty, yeah. I really like this. Mmm. I love the big bit. Bit of tentacle there. It is absolutely delicious this way. You can taste the garlic. Mmm. I think the body's better than the uh, actual tentacles. Tentacles got a little bit rubbery. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the body's well better. Mm. So I won't leave you any longer, guys. We're going to demolish this now. <laughs> That's a really good way of cooking cuttlefish. Putting the stripe through it like that. Just makes it a little bit easier to chew if you overcook it a little bit. That's perfect, eh, mate? Delicious, mate. Mm. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, it's at the Guernsey Angler. I'll leave the link in the description. If you like my channel, guys, like and subscribe. It's smash fishing. <laughs> Demolish. Demolish. Mm.